get ready for some really, really, really crappy online courses. How do I know this? Well, I've been playing around with ChatGPT just the same as everyone else has. And in fact, we've been using it to create some online courses, really, really crappy online courses. Here's what the problem is. You're going to have so many people learning how to use ChatGPT because there's so much buzz around it and how easy it is to do research with it. In the past, when you were creating a course, you had to have some expertise, hopefully, in what it is you were trying to share or teach someone. But you also had to do some research on how you could best present that, your expertise and your knowledge, and package it up in a way that makes sense to the learners. You can just go to ChatGPT and ask it right now. Give me a course syllabus. What do I need to tell people to teach this? List out all of my lessons. It'll actually write the content for you. And that's the problem because you're going to have a whole bunch of people creating online courses just by using the AI tools like ChatGPT. That's going to be able to allow them to quickly create content and try and pass it off as a course. I think what's going to happen over the next six to nine months is you're going to see an absolute pile of crap courses coming out. What are they going to be missing, of course? You, the instructor, and your experience. That's why an exciting time for training sites. Not selling courses, which I think is going to be a dead art because of the tools allowing people to regurgitate information, and not just membership sites where you're having multiple courses put together. I think the real value that we're going to see with ChatGPT is using it as a foundation to help share your expertise and also your passion for teaching people about an outcome that you can promise them with your experience and packaging it up in a way of an online course. So the thing that to look for, again, this is my prediction, you're going to find that people are going to start creating training sites and campuses. These are learning environments that involve more than a static course with information regurgitated. You're going to have cohort-based training where you're going to actually have groups of people going through set courses together. And more importantly, you're going to have the ability to ask questions of the instructor, to interact with the instructor and the other people in a community. You're going to see things like gamification, memberships where there's messaging, communication back and forth between other people, and you're going to see learning tracks. So it's not just going to be a bunch of courses uh, thrown into something called a membership site for a monthly subscription. It is going to be a learning environment. And that's why this is such a wonderful time to be a teacher. Someone who goes, hey, I know something. I can guarantee an outcome by applying what I've done with the experiences that I've had. And I want to share that with you. So next time you look at ChatGPT and you see someone that says, yeah, you can get rich selling courses in 12 minutes just by creating a course with ChatGPT, go ahead and do that. But don't try and sell it as a course. Use ChatGPT and other AI tools as a foundation, as a foundation. You've got to add your authenticity, your experience, and you as the product to turn it into a business, a business that is a training site and a learning campus, not just courses or a membership site. So think about that when you see all the videos, the shorts, all the excitement about ChatGPT. Absolutely wonderful time, awesome tool but don't rely on it to build your online business. This is James Maduke speaking. Like and subscribe. Join us at trainingsites.io or the trainingsitesacademy.io where we show you how to start, build, and grow your education business.